what's up how you doing here I am I'm back and uh, right now it's uh, I think it's a few minutes before 6 o'clock in the p.m. It's still raining uh, about an hour ago I went out to uh, fuel up and all you know get some stuff and there was a bit of a breeze building up but now I sit here and there's no breeze so I don't know what happened anyway I got a snack here I'm gonna try it out shrimp and cocktail sauce with a lemon so open this up ah, good stuff delicious look at that put some lemon on here wash my hands thoroughly so a lot of shrimp in here more than you think I don't know, I just feel like shrimp right now look at that so they say that it's gonna pick up after six we'll see what happens there Wow, that good quality. Delicious and the cocktail sauce is nice. Has a you know intense heat for a few seconds from the horseradish. When I went to the gas station, um, I thought it was closed because this gas station that I go to uh, is usually busy. But Nope, I was the only one the entire time, the only one filled up. I looked inside first, I saw that uh, the guy, usually it's this girl that works there, but I guess they told her to go home. And I saw that there was someone in there, I put the card in, it gave me the gas, went inside, I bought a beverage, and then I went and bought some shrimp and some other items, just to have handy, such as water, got a lot of water. Delicious. I have a shrimp story. So one time, when I was a kid, very young, four years old around there, my father's friend, he had a friend who uh, who had just bought a house. He had just gotten married and bought a house in uh, the old part of town. And he invited everybody over for, I don't know what it was, a dinner. So we, we went to his house, all the family, you know, that related to me, we went there. And everything was still in boxes, all his stuff, furniture, whatever. So he had boxes all set up that we sat on, and he had a box for a table. And then he came in from work, mechanic, and his hands were all, you know, with the nails, long nails, and underneath there was, uh, I don't know, grease. His hands were, his fingernails were dark. Something was under there. And my mother was on my left. I was like a little bit forward from her, and then on my right side was my aunt. And he took out a a big you know bowl of this stuff the cocktail sauce and a good amount of these things the shrimp and my mother gets grossed out easy so he was uh taking the shrimp and dipping it in with his disgusting you know hands and then he was licking his fingernails licking his fingers and my mother you know she could not eat from that same bowl so she wasn't eating right but my aunt next to me, she had no problem. She was dipping it in, eating it, and 
when they had two German shepherds roaming around. And my, my mother, you know, just could not take it anymore, so... I don't know, the next time they were alone somewhere with my aunt and my mother, she go, she said to her, how, how are you eating that? She goes, I was looking at him and I felt like throwing up. And my aunt said she never noticed. It, just, it went above her head. So, when I eat shrimp, I remember that. Every time. Just pops up in my memory. Mm. I love shrimp, and uh, I also love fried clams. When I was a kid, we would go to Paragon Park. It does not exist anymore, and. You know, we'd go on all the rides. I think it had like the sixth biggest roller coaster in the world or something in those days. Not anymore, but I mean, it wouldn't qualify now. It would probably be number 100. Anyway, we, we would go there. It was like Coney Island. And then after that, at nighttime, we'd roam around the beach area and we'd go and get fried clams. Delicious. Mm. Check it out. There you go, One thing I don't do, I don't lick my fingers when I'm eating. If I'm not hungry, I'll get another order of something. But I don't. If I eat buffalo wings and I get sauce on my hands, which you do, I wipe them down with a bounty. But I don't, I don't lick them. I'm not a fan of that at all. And I'll tell you another thing about restaurants. A lot of water. When I go to a restaurant and I sit down and I look at the menu and I make a decision um, I do it rapidly. I don't sit there and, you know, have a debate in my head of what to eat and do I want this. I look at immediately, and generally what I do is I pick the easiest thing to pronounce on the uh, menu. Like if I go to an Italian restaurant or a French one, I don't want to sound like a moron trying to say the names of the food. So I will pick the simplest thing and pick that. But, you know, when I go even to a restaurant that uh, is written in English, I make a fast decision. I look, I go, okay, that's it. I don't, I'm not debating, I'm not, you know, trying to figure out how to build a rocket ship. It's just a meal. So, that's what happens. And then the other thing I don't do, I don't, I don't really, you know, huh. I get a meal. That's what I want, that's what I get. I'm not interested in all the other people's meals on how it tastes. You know? Anybody's like, you want to try a little bit of this? Or, no, I'm good. I'll eat mine. If you want to try something of mine, have at it. But to me, it seems like a big pain in the ass. I'm trying to eat, and then you got like somebody, you want to try my whatever, something I don't have and they have. No, I'm not, I'm not that curious. I'm not that curious. I'll try it next time. I'll order it if it looks appealing to me and I'll get it. But when I, when I get something at a restaurant, I just want what's on my plate. It doesn't mean I don't want to share with, what's on my plate. If you want to try something and, you know, whatever, I'll say, you know, you want this, you want a little bit. But don't ask me if I want to try your escargots 
or your escargots or any or a, you've got a special fish there that you want me to try I don't care I bought steak I got steak or if I got salmon or whatever that's what I'm eating I'm not interested in what your stuff tastes like I don't care you know I just I find that annoying you know it's like try this try that it means nothing to me because if I wanted what you're eating I would have said garçon Give me that. Give me. Give me a double of what, whatever you told. Uh, whatever they told you. Give me that. I'm not interested. So, you know, that's why I'm not getting that. It's like you got to try this. No, unnecessary. So. Good rain. Had a mulberry tree. I still have it. But it's no longer alive. So I was giving it the water and everything. And it was giving me mulberries, which is my favorite. I you know I love I love watermelon, but mulberries are a bit higher on my list. So I had it going, I had hundreds of mulberries growing there. And every day I'd go and I'd eat them. Well, we went somewhere. I forget, we went somewhere like Vegas. Or and it happened to be extremely hot during that, you know, nine days we were gone. And when I came back, it was all dry. I thought maybe I could save it by force feeding it water. Nope. That was the end. Got to plant that in the ground. Mine's in a park, so right out. Like you get some thunder and lightning in here. Remember in the olden days, a lot of, uh, I don't know, intelligent people thought that the lightning and thunder was angry gods, were an angry god, angry, always angry. Very strange concept with the angry god. Everything angers them. Or some people think that. I can double dip because I'm the only one eating. I feel someone's calling me. No. This is an emergency alert, flash flood warning for this area until 3 a.m. today or tomorrow, whatever. It says dangerous situation and life threatening. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing an area subject to flooding or under an evacuation order. They're not going to issue an evacuation order here. It's not that kind. Of, I mean, this is a city, so. Where are you going to go? But in the mountains, they will. Yeah, it's a good amount of rain here. We use the water, but not all at once.
I'm gonna make a, a real meal for dinner. This is a, a snack. 12 shrimp in here. I'll burn these calories just going up the stairs. Well, anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up for a bit here. <laughs>